Dad's name's Fun? So, two things. One of which I discovered on my own whilst looking around off camera in an indignant fashion. There is a, a note under the bed. So yeah. Dearest Ilse, when will I see you again? I contemplate your graceful, delightful, lovely portrait every day and night. This painter really managed to capture your beauty in the most perfect way. And I love how big the canvas is. You must have stayed still for hours, days even. Did you know one of our patrons even wanted to buy it from me? I said no, naturally. You are all mine. With everlasting love, your Dimitra. So, that talks about a portrait. Now... I was kind of like thinking to myself off camera, does it mean like this portrait or does it mean like this portrait? Because this one moves, so it might mean that one. But somebody told me about the fireplace, so apparently I gotta smush my face up against this por- Oh. <laughs> okay. Don't know how I didn't see that. Anyways, hey guys, name's Fed and we are off to the races. A uh, uh, hidden entrance. Always my favorite room in a house. Okay, yeah, so it's a hidden entrance. So now, now we get to the part where there's keys in 8-bit graphics and there's, uh, colors, 8-bit color space and there should be a place with some doors here. <clears throat> and if I'm correct, oh, wait a minute, did she already have that door removed? I don't know. If I'm correct, there should also be another keeper glyph in here if I have interpreted a thing correctly. So, yeah, just looking up, what's that wall? This place is huge. It's huge! Oh my god! I was expecting some tiny place. No, I wasn't, because the, the, the note even said, I don't think it's a tiny place there, sir. I think it's a great big room. And there's a pipe. It's like an, e an ejection pipe. I was going to say another word starting with ej. Yeah, okay, okay, so. There's the stuff, so now I, I reckon I probably got to go back to the kitchen, I would imagine. So let's see here. I possess the key you seek, these three glyphs you shall find to reveal my resting place. Ah, that's the lock beside the door. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Doesn't seem to be any loot, though, because obviously it would have been looted already by three dogs with a poker face. One poker face between them. It's a very creepy thing. The face shifts and walls onto each of them in turn, and the rest of them are left blank. Oh, okay. I'm going to assume there's no secret books here. What a crazy assumption. Also, I would just like to say something regarding marble floors. I've often complained about marble abuse and just marble in general. And the last several many times I've done so, there's been something in the back of my head. And I keep thinking, you know, am I complaining about too much marble or am I just complaining about marble at all? Like, what would constitute a good use of marble to me? And I don't know the answer, so I'm like, I think that maybe I'm just complaining about it because I find it annoying and not making a good effort to actually figure out if it's properly challenging or annoying. You know what I mean? So, because, because, yeah, I mean, like, I pretty much am saying marble should never be used because every time it's there, I'm just bitching about it all the time. So, also, where, where the, okay, here's the stairs down. So, yeah, it's just something, something for me to ponder, I guess. And another thing. Hey, Mom, I get paid to go on the internet and talk with my mouth full. What do you think of that? Another thing, apparently that rope spot I found was not the secret passage. Like, somebody said there was a secret passage at the start. Like, not like it matters because it was just to, like, skip over some floor. But, but, like, I don't see any rope spots around the start. I mean, I guess I don't need the passage, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm curious now to find it. Because I, I just don't see anything. Yeah, I don't know. If somebody could point it out, that would be existent. Anyway, yeah, it wasn't that, apparently. Okay, so, here we are in the kitchen. And here we are at the resting place. And it looks like it's going to be evil. How the hell do I... Oh! Oh, that's what this freaking beam is for. Well, color me blown away, sirs. If indeed that's a color. What, another... Oh, I see. This is like, hey, you've hit the three, and here the three are. Here's a token and a key. Oh, I can get the key. I thought I, I thought I couldn't. It didn't look like I was throbbing it. I keep expecting there to be evil creatures up in here. Oh, this is that boarded up... Th no, it's it's not. This is... Wait a minute. Could I possibly, like, explode this boarded up wall at some point for an uber secret? Because there's a bricked up wall like this in the basement. Maybe the basement is, like, the other side of this. Okay, well, anyway, I've got the key, so let's move right the heck on here 
with no challenge because I've got rid of it. Oh, I miss these guys running all up in my face. Oh. And this is, of course, the blue fire of which the stuff was stuffing. So, yeah, all is good, all is fine. And I'm really expecting some evil in this place now. Because I've taken care of the rest of it. And I just love taking care of more and more and more things until all natural resources run dry. Hmm. Well... Yeah, this is the Keeper place. It would be hilarious to see this transformed into more of a brothel. Whoa, that's that's creepy. More like the Creeper place. Whoa. Hmm. Keeper, if you read this, it means you have unsealed the doors. We had to leave the sanctuary. Deafening tremors shook the main grotto as a cave-in occurred, and cold water from a cave above flooded the lower levels. The great library was submerged, and Elder Ontranto hurried us to leave the sanctuary, leaving precious tomes of knowledge behind. We could not save them, and I dare not think of their state if the cavern did indeed collapse after our escape. Several relics were kept within these halls, in particular the Chalice of Souls that was enshrined to be studied later. It appears the Shrine Tower shall be its tomb. A tower underground? <laughs> as I leave this note for keepers of knowledge such as you, I have high hopes you shall salvage the invaluable wisdom kept in their pages. Yours and knowledge keeper, Jeremin. I recognize that name, Keeper Jeremin. I guess he must be from the original games. Or maybe they took it from a, a fan mission. Did they take it from what lies below or something? I don't know why I would think that, but who knows? I don't see no flooding here. and I, I guess the Chalice of Souls is probably going to be some evil relic that caused the cave-in. I, mean, I mean, that's just like a good guess for what happened, right? I mean, yeah. I don't see no flood. That's suspicious. Let's save these precious page tomes, but Garrett is just not interested. I mean... Garrett, look, I know you don't want to be, like, limited by the Keeper's lack of thieving ambitions and shit, but come on, be a good chap, sport, and, uh, and fetch the books, will you? Whoa. This place is massive. Holy shit, this is amazing looking. <laughs> also, guess what just happened? Uh, the mission was one thing, and now it's a whole other thing, which is the same thing that happened with the sewers in the first mission. But for some reason, I'm liking it now because I'm in a different mood and because I'm a hypocrite. Yeah, hey, it's a pagan tome. Oh, you don't want to study a pagan tome. That could definitely cause a cave-in. Okay, let's not rush too far, far, far words here. I want to take a good look at what's around because I don't even have my loot goal. And wait a minute, in fact, do I even have close to my loot goal? Yeah, I, I do. Yes, I do have close to my loot goal. But I haven't achieved it yet, so that's one improvement. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, Cray Beast. Oh, and a blue one too. Excuse me, sir. Uh. Oh well. I gotta kill ya. Oh, you know, cause you're interrupting my delightful commentary, so I gotta kill ya. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. It's the way of the world. La da 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 da. That sounds like a song, The Way of the World. La da 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 da. I'm gonna make the entire song now. Damn it. Right, so there's this busted window. Wow, there's, there's many places I could visit and probably some sacred books as I did. But, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna take it slow and explore. And hopefully not get into trouble with this man over here. That, that looks like it was like down converted to a gif or something with the color banding. I don't know. I, Oh, okay, 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 all right, all right, I think this is marble, but this floor isn't, oh, that's, this is great, well, well, again, with the silent kill, and I'm a silent killer, but a noisy eater, oh, yeah, you, you can't step down into this lower area, it's just so freaking hard and difficult, oh, oh, and I should probably try to circle strafe you, but... No. Who knows? You know, how did they make those sound effects, I'm just realizing? Because that's a cool... <laughs> screechy scream. Oh, dude, this is like the Scribarium. Dude, this is amazing! Okay, this is right up my alley, right? <laughs> I don't even care about if there's marble floors or any of this other stupid crap I'm complaining about. Wow, dude, Garrett, save these books, stuff them all in your bag. I mean, seriously, you can stuff ginormous loot in your bag, such as lost city canisters that are ten miles high. But, okay. Okay. Gotta be... 
Whoa, this, the atmosphere here is incredible. The keeper and the busted keeper. And this. I think there's another cray beast I might hear. Maybe it's just my imagination, but. Nope. 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 It isn't. Run! Oh, no, I do have. I have five moss arrows, and there's a brown head. So I guess you are supposed to kind of fight. Now, I, I reckon I could probably knock this guy out. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know where I got those moss arrows. I don't remember. But. Hey. Hey. Alright. Alright. See? You use some strategy and you laugh and you smile and suddenly being murdered doesn't seem so bad after all. You see, these scrolls are the only things worth saving. These books, nah. Elder Gregos. <clears throat> Following your request, Keeper Feasel and I have started speedrunning, and also looked for text mentioning the term Zawa with great care. Zawa is a word strangely absent from etchings more or less related to lost dialects and esotericism, perhaps even blasphemous religions of old. The only references I managed to find come from pre-imperial archaic literature. In these texts, our ancestors used the term in relation to anarchy and excess, carnage and death. Keeper Feasel even managed to find the forgotten prophecy of a nameless person speaking of a master, clad in shadows, who captured those who knew too much and used them to understand the incomprehensible. The parchment mentioning this prophecy was moved to the old quarter grotto for more in-depth study. The last reference I found is the result of a rather peculiar circumstances, and most probably comes from a journal that has nothing to do with our studies. Chronicles of a Rox... pardon me, of a Roxburgh executioner. So... Again with the Roxburgh use. Hmm. The author writes that about the babblings of a simpleton sentenced to death by boiling water after being charged with cannibalism. The related passage reads as follows. It's an adjective used to describe the blow of dust through the bones of the departed. In high hopes of having been of service, yours and knowledge keeper Merlon. But where is keeper Merlovely? Possibly back in those Nintendo games where female characters are obsessed with their own beauty and kiss anyone who just walks up to them and says hi. It's freaking literally true. Okay, but this place, very non-linear. I mean, I mean, it's so cool looking. Oh, this reminds me of that one place in... Oh, where the hell was that one place with the cage? Was it Roxburgh? Well, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, oh, I don't remember which fan machine it was, but if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is obviously the king of the keepers. He's in his throne, very balanced. Yeah, and uh, see, that book's worth saving because it's valuable. Garrett, 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 you are a despicable lout, aren't you? Yeah, but seriously, this is like a king's chamber, man. Oh, I just love- I cannot say enough good things about this. Oh, shit. Okay, there's that creep. Beast. So, this is the f first. This is the first guy I took out. Right, that's the second. So here, okay, I just been here. Okay, gotcha. So I have to remember. There's a whole other half which I might come around to if I end up going this way. Well, well let's just go where the river carries us. I said I was going to take it slow. I guess that doesn't necessarily preclude going where the river takes me as long as I swim very hard upstream. A flash bomb. Yeah, I'm being armed to the teeth kind of here. Moss arrows, flash bombs, broad heads, ropes, and so forth. They must find me extremely an intelligent person. What? Oh, I have no idea how that happened. I think I might have landed right on the edge of that. Okay, yeah, not complaining though. Oh, look at this. Look at this underground. Oh, t t this is incredible. Oh my god. Oh, what? There's, I'm not even dead? Okay, so here's where the water is. This is amazing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, though. Okay. Now to find a way back out, which I'm assuming there is. Because game design. Okay, well, there might be an open doorway here. No, but suspicious because look at that, their light. Oh, it's the mushroom giving off the light. What a tease. Whoa, what's that? It's a targeting reticule or something. What is that? A circle thing? An atom? It's like... 
That is like an, an atomic molecule electron circle-y perception thing, artist rendition thing. What is that? Bad idea to get close, obviously, but I'm going to anyway, because what is that thing? Where is it? Is it coming for me? Well, oh, wait. Dude. These th Dude, what are these things? I said in a growly voice. Oh, man. They're, they're water elementals, aren't they? Well, they're not seeming to be hurting me, though. But they are kind of creepishly getting all up in my face, though. Like, am I eventually supposed to destroy these? I don't know. I'm just like a kid in a candy store of this thing. Oh, man. <laughs> and I can't think of anything to say because I'm too busy squeeing inside my head. Squeeing inside. Oh, here's the chalice. Should I grab it now, though? Maybe. Like, I just think that might cause something evil to happen. But, well, who knows? I, yeah, that's the chalice. I still need my loot. Cool. Sometimes grabbing the artifact causes something evil to happen. You know how it goes. But, no, not yet, anyway. I mean, these guys already existed. They look like oh, that guy's stuck in a wall. They look like they should hurt me or something, but they haven't yet. Well, I want to, like, find a way back up and out of this place. So, yeah. If that would exist, that would be great. Maybe they only hurt me in their native habitat vis-a-vis -vis in the water. No, I don't know. They just seem sort of odd. But it's definitely magical origin, this flood. And the design is also magic in origin. Whoever made it, Fire Mage, Skaki, Squada Ruffle, or whatever. Squada Fai. It's a totally different name. I'm confused. Either and all of you guys are the mans. Is this the cave that I just went into? I don't know. But man, I'm gonna find out. I don't think it is, though. No. Because there's this wall of stringiness that you can put on your spaghetti if you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just looking for loot, too, but... Wow. Incredible, 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 incredible. Incroyable. I cannot believe this. <laughs> oh, man. Hope you guys are enjoying my non-talk here. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I recall reading something about not looking like you can stick a rope arrow somewhere. But you can. But it... Doesn't really come down far, quite far enough, does it? Oh, that's okay. Got plenty of these where these came from. Yeah, it looks like gravel rock, so I guess that's something you could complain about. Whoa. What is this? That's a thief sound. What? Okay, I don't know what the heck this is. A thief type den? Okay, well. Here's the facts. I've got the chalice, but I don't have 2,000 loot, so they have to give me a way to get back up to the normal level in case I don't have any loot. So, oh, well, that's not, that's not right. So this is obviously eventually going to lead me back around to either the keeper place or the regular brothel. I don't know how, but I'm just going to have to find that out. All right, there he goes. No! Trying to play too quickly, aren't you? <laughs> Damn it! Alright. I almost think I trigger his AI by walking, by climbing up. Hey. Alright. What? Something. You're a lousy What was shot. that? <laughs> I jumped up on the stairs, like, totally without even jumping. I. Just. All right, I, I guess I'll accept that. Please do not watch this if you have photosensitivity. Uh, warning, coming late. It's great. Bert, I've had enough of Johan, er, Johan, and I'm afraid he may compromise our operation. Tonight, he dies. Do it in a quiet place, and don't forget to dump his body in our usual spot when the deed is done. Feel free to lay your hands on anything he may have stolen from us. Consider whatever you find an extra for your job a fortnight ago. Tom. 
Alright, that's a thiefy type name. I guess I'll drop this guy in the usual spot, such as down there. Boop, 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 boop. I hope I don't need those flash bombs for anything important. Hoo 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 bees and owl. Okay. Where? Wow, that's a cool looking wall generator. It's new technology. What? This is a way out? So I have to find a whole other way back up to the normal spot to get loot. Wasn't expecting that. Well, okay. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's give that idea a shot. Oh, back in the water, back in the water, there's some light. Top 40 pop hat. I don't give a shit. I like Countess Coloratura's auto tune a palooza song. I guess this means I am now a Lady Gaga fan without knowing anything about her. I think you can be a fan of stuff without knowing anything about it. All you have to do is blow some air in its general direction. Damn it, it's back here. Yeah, you. Am I supposed to get some arcane knowledge? No, you're just... You're just kind of there. Um... Yeah... How do I get back up for serious now? Getting a little real about it here. For the love of Christ, this is the Thief's Den place, isn't it? Help, I'm in purgatory. Dude, this is... This place is amazing looking, but it's a little annoying. Like, the two passages I've found so far, neither of them get me back up to a place. Unless there's something in that chalice place. Like, maybe there's some upwards moving water in the chalice place. I don't even have a map. <sighs> there's this theme of getting lost and confused in this mission. <gasps> wait! Hiccup! Wait! Finally! The minute I started complaining, something happened. Well, now you see, this is a good lesson for everybody. Complain and things will occur. That thing might be you getting smacked or whatever, but, you know, hey, things are things. So, yeah, okay, great, awesome. So, oh, pardon me. Oh, cut all the, that weird crap out. Oh. Okay, seem to have had a little footage problem there. Anyways, I found this ledge up here that you can climb back up. And, uh, you can climb it back up, and I was super excited, I was like, oh, complain and stuff will happen, it was great. And then there's this gray beast who seems to be just stuck on this ledge, you know, poor dude, I'll put him out of his misery. Come on. He's watching over the water. Very good job, sir. And here's the broken window that we come back up into. I really hope I didn't lose too much footage there. And anyways, here's the place I haven't explored, but then there's also that other place that I, I think I fell into the water there, but... Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is... is this... Did I fall off of this bridge? Yeah, I took that guy out. And I must have... I must have fallen into the water here. D did I? I don't really remember what happened. Okay, I'm going to assume this is the meetup point. And this is not a loot book. Too bad. Vidrix Hollow Report 316. And also 723. Mud so cold it burned fell from the sky for half an hour. Several incidents occurred during the ensuing panic. One costing Lady Darmala her life. Uh, report 317. The ivy in the druid sepulchre has tainted, and a plant of black aspect has coiled around a statue. The Hammerites think this is the doing of pagan forces, but Keeper Kranthis believes the truth is far more sinister. 318. Several monks fell asleep in their cells at Bitterhold Belfry and woke up in completely different places. Well, the chalice is evil. Y'all ought to learn by now not to study them evil artifacts. Where the hell is the loot that I'm missing? This is, like, seriously what-shaped? Okay, I must have... come from here? No. Okay, this... Oh... Oh, oh, it's a creepist! Whoop, there he uh, went. Uh, Dude. Can't shoot an arrow. Oh, whatever. There we go. Okay. That book looks gold, Garrett. Come on, grab the book. Look, some of these books must be valuable, Garrett. Come on, you needs you the loot. But yeah, this place, pretty place shaped, and I mean that in the best possible way. Marble? <laughs> of course, but... You know, I've got six moss arrows, which I'm not going to use. But just knowing that I can use them makes it all much better. All right, you! It's time for you to disappear from the face of the earth. Because you are a zit on the face of the earth and of everything you walk upon, really. I mean, 
I gotta be insulting to the likes of you because you're different from our kind. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Ever the classics do stay classic shaped. I'm sure you're using shaped a lot in this here LP. Yeah, okay, so that's why I'm getting moss arrows just like everywhere. That's where have I been there before? Probably, but I guess I'll try. Ugh. Ah, scouting time. Scouting, scouting. Scoutity scout to scout. Well, I guess not. Hmm. These ladders not having some good collision. I, it's these tilted ladders that don't seem to have good collision from the side, weirdly enough. Oh well, okay, there's some- Whoa, I do have my loot goal now, so if I wanted I could leave, but I figure I'll finish exploring this place. I mean, why not? Wait. Yeah, this- well, there's a lot more to discover here than it at first appears, apparently. I mean, there's blood everywhere, there's a there's a dude who puked over the edge and ended up half falling over. I mean, all kinds of creep. Although it is starting to look a bit uh, copy-pasty. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this place anymore. Mm. The, the, the problem that has run through most of this couple of missions to me is that places, like... It ends up that a lot of places end up looking kind of similar sometimes. Well, maybe only in certain places like the sewers. I don't know. Like like these rooms, they're all... I mean, the, the general atmosphere of this place is great as hell. But it's really hard to tell where you've been because every place ends up looking kind of similar. See, now I'm here. Like, where is here? A map is severely needed. I mean, yeah, there's no story reason why you would have a map. I get it. But maybe you could find one in here, you know? That would be nice to just like maybe find one at the start because literally where am I? I I totally lost it now I think this place is new and I'll remember those stairs up there yeah this is like that keep the library from thief th oh shit from thief three where uh, can you put these out or are they magical they're magical yeah where, where the keeper stands in the middle and goes shall we move these books everyone's like the Books will hardly stop Garrett from making love to a guard, and so on and so forth. You know, you know the place. Yeah, this is exactly. Yeah, but busted and shit. Where's that guy? Is he down there? He's probably down somewhere. Oh, he's right there. Oh, hello there, sir. I'm gonna jump on your head. <laughs> yeah, see, it is a reference. There's even that potion, like there is in Thief Three, on the chair. Oh, that's great. Do I get burned from this torch? No, because it's magic fire that doesn't produce heat, thus negating half the purpose of fire, but I guess it produces light, so it's really, it's a 100% efficient machine. The keepers have finally done it. They've made over-unity energy. And then their cavern flooded and the knowledge was lost. Pfft. That definitely looks like a manner of uh, possibly some secret goings-on. Maybe a piece of loot up there, or just another flash bomb, or something crazy like that. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, you can kind of climb on top of this, but. Boar. Well, that's all the stuff I got. Oh. Oh! No! Let's try that again. Jump. Jump. Damn it! I'm trying to walk. God. Please, come on, please. Let me. Duh! It won't bloody move when I. Come on! Maybe if I stack them here. Wait, wait, wait. This is already high enough? Oh, 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 yes, yes, I've made it up that way, yes, oh, there is something up here, oh shit, but I don't get a big old like, ding dong, you found a secret, hey, congratulations, Taffer, you've elevated, no, it's not elevated, that's stacking, elevatoring is something completely different, uh, well, sort of different, uh, yeah, oh my god, what, like, <laughs> <laughs> I should sound more enthusiastic. Yeah, well, I should be like having less annoyance in my voice is what I mean, but like I just spent forever trying to stack. Oh. What? <laughs> but seriously, that was awesome. Uh, let's see if I can't get down without hurting myself. I think that might be what this is for. So you can sort of land on a slant. Oh. Maybe not. That's okay. I got potions and crap. Let's. Go and finish the mission now, frickin' finally! Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, there's probably more to explore. Actually, let's not. Let's instead follow the blood because I just won't frickin' quit playing. This video's pretty long. Oh, but oh, but oh, but oh, I don't know if I'm following this blood for a reason or if it's just like atmospheric 
Luca. Oh, Ness. Oh, somebody killed one of those guys, eh? Yep, yep, yep. If there's anything left to find, I'm gonna find it because this place is pretty cool. But, you know, the keepers, they... Whoa. Nice room brushing. The keepers, they, they always make their rooms the same because they're into that sort of thing, I guess. Also, this looks like a place from uh, where the uh, super soul gem of Solstice was in uh, Roxburgh 2. Wow, look at all that crap. <laughs> like a table fell on him or something. Okay, so that's where the blood leads. Or he just fell into a table after having bled to death. I don't know what that's supposed to signify, but I guess the uh, gas arrow uh, is a murderer. Okay, great, so now I'm going all the way up this tower, and I'm gonna have to go all the way back down again later on. I just love spiral staircases, <laughs> damn it. No, for a fact I ain't gonna need that. Oh wait, I probably... There we go! There we go. And I don't even need what's up here, but I mean, I just wanna see it. I just wanna see. Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing, like, ever. There's probably a hidden book in one of these places, but I mean, lord all freaking mighty right. I guess, hey, the prize is at the bottom. Follow the blood. Okay, now let's really finish. Oh, and I end up right here. Totally, uh, totally pulled that out my subconscious. Well, this overall was a pretty cool campaign. There I had my share of frustrations and things I disagreed with, but you know what? It was well done. It was big. I mean, for a contest where you normally have limited time, it was astounding that this was as big as it was. I mean, okay, it had multiple people working on it, so I guess that's the reason, but... Yeah, and I mean, it, it was good. Like, like I say, there were some things I disagreed with, some things I got frustrated by, but it was a really good piece of work, and man, I, I pretty much enjoyed it overall, so... Let's end this and end this. Well, it's not too bad. Well, now I suppose I'll play the other mission in the contest, and I'm now out of the secluded passage, and now I'm very proud of myself and my masculinity. Bye for now!